Hey folks, my name is Chris Wessel. Today we're going to be tying a streamer pattern called the Golden Eagle. This is my favorite pattern for spring Atlantic salmon. It originated in New Brunswick on the Miramichi River. So without further ado, let's get on into it. So today we're going to be using the Partridge CS42 for our hook and we're going to be using that in a size 2. <clears throat> going to start off with a white thread and we're using um, UTC 70 for that and we're just going to bring our thread down to the hook bend And our first material we're going to put on is a small gold oval. <clears throat> and we're just going to wrap this up around. We're going to do several wraps just to build up that butt there. And just to secure that, we'll uh, wrap that up the body. And it helps us also build the body up as well. So we're going to come back to where we just tied in that material. <clears throat> And we're going to be now using uh, some ostrich churl for our next part. Those of you who know me know that I don't really enjoy using this stuff. And it's probably because I actually have some pretty brittle ost ostrich churl. Probably more so compared to other ones. But uh, I'll try to keep some light hands and see how it goes. So I'm just using my um, hackle pliers for this and we're just trying to really gently wrap this around. You can use dubbing for this too, like a black dubbing. <laughs> um, you know, I'll probably give the same effect. Wow, I'm glad I had that tied in. Alright, so we're going to tie in our rib now, and for the rib we're going to go up a size, and we're going to go with a uh, where is that? size medium uh, gold oval. just cut this little piece off up here all right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna tie off this white thread this is gonna be the last time we're gonna need to use that And next we're going to use some underbody from uh, Uni and basically what this does is creates a nice smooth surface for us to lay down some mylar on. It covers up a lot of those bumps and creates a nice base just for our mylar. And 
and I'm just untwisting that underbody when I stop and spin. All right, so uh, we're now going to use a UTC 70 in a black, and black is going to be the color of the head on this fly. It's an excellent little streamer pattern. It's probably one of my favorites. Very simple to tie as well. All right, so I actually am going to tie off this black again and cut it off and just get out of the way for our mylar that we're going to be putting down. <clears throat> Before we put our mylar down, if you've seen my other videos, I tend to like putting a uh, base of head cement on that underbody. And it really soaks it up, but it also, uh, we're doing this so it creates almost like a little extra level of... Uh, security for our mylar if it gets torn up on a fish it should help it stay in place because without that if you tear up any part of this body the whole thing is just going to unravel <clears throat> and a lot of these like aren't traditional ways to tie these flies guys I'm you know I think if you guys know me by now you know that I care a lot less about tradition and I, I care a lot more about a durable fly that a customer is getting. And I think that they would appreciate that too. All right, so I'm just spinning out that twist and we're gonna come back up. So this actually calls for just a gold body and while we're using gold we're also using a holographic gold so I probably should mention that uh, that if you are trying to follow this pattern or the recipe to a T then you should just use normal gold mylar. But this stuff is just so nice I love it. So I'm just going to come up into the mylar a bit with the thread and uh, just to kind of help hold that there. Plus, we, I mean, this is a streamer pattern, so not too worried about the size of the head and when we're done. I'm just going to bring our ribbing up. I'm also not concerned about counting ribbing on this either. Um, it is what it is. That nice big oval too will create some uh, disturbance in the water. I like that. And we're just gonna tie this off. All right, so that is the body of our golden eagle. And it's just uh, one material now, which is the wing. There's no throat on this fly. And we're going to be using yellow bucktail for the wing. So <clears throat> when you're using bucktail for streamer patterns and stuff, uh, it tends to be best to use this and up because these fibers up here are way less hollow. And uh, when you chinch down on them with your thread, they don't just poof out and expand. Uh, well, they, they may a bit, but it's going to be a lot less than if you use something at the base of the bucktail. So we're going to put a pretty decent sized wing on this. <clears throat> we use lots of material. Shows up really nice in murky water. And I'm just going to hand stack. When I'm hand stacking, I'm basically just grabbing the tips, pulling out what's left. I lay that down and then line it up with what's in my other hand. And that's hand stacking. I am going to still stack this in my uh, hair stacker. So I only have a small hair stacker, so I'm just going to cut these down a little bit before I put it in. And I mean, they're still really hanging out, but uh, that's all right. You don't need a perfect stack on these either. And to be honest, they probably fish better with a nice uh, tapered back of the wing. Looks probably a little bit more natural, but I tend to stack everything. <clears throat> so
So that's what we're left with there. And I may just adjust that by pulling out a few fibers. And that's a little bit better. So I want this wing to extend past my hook a bit. And I think right about there is going to do it. So that's where we're going to tie this in. Now it's important to note <clears throat> when you're using bucktail that you split this wing up as you're tying it in. So what I do is I just come in and I take my thread and go in between that clump of fur and chinch down. Take the next and I could probably do this in two. So basically you're splitting that wing into two parts. There you go. So I am going to come in with my scissors and just clean this up a little bit because otherwise you just have a straight cut um, end on this and not only does that, it not look the best, I don't like in my opinion, but it also makes it actually pretty hard for wrapping thread around because there's no gradual cut. It's just straight down and I don't really know how you make that work. So I'm going to put a little bit of extra security here, which is my crazy glue on the cut end. And that just helps hold the wing in place. And it also helps with our thread wraps. If you're new to fly tying and you're looking at tying a streamer, this has got to be one of the easiest streamer patterns to tie. And it also is just a really effective pattern. <clears throat> well, I can't even pluck out a stray hair because it's, it's in there so securely now. Uh, I'm just going to tie off here. That's a little bit of a larger head than normally I would be going for with this. Um, and I know where I went wrong there. I started tying a little bit too far back to tying this in too far back from where I actually wanted to stop. So that's my fault. And that folks is a pattern streamer pattern called the golden Eagle. Uh, typically works really well in the spring of the year in murky water. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, also appreciate all of those who uh, sub subscribe to the channel so far. If you haven't, um, please feel free to do so. I, I would also appreciate that. And uh, if not, that's totally cool too. So until next time, stay safe.